It's time to get back to work on the F12. We spaced out a couple of videos not working on the F12, started getting on the new Zuma project. And we're back to the ever-changing F12 tuning setup. So today, this is a big one. As you saw in the thumbnail, as you saw in the title, I've been wanting to try a smart carb for a long time now, ever since even when I first heard about them coming out for the Banshees back when Electron, you know, first started really popping. Um, I've always wanted to try them. Very expensive carburetors, I will say that right off the bat. Don't don't get it wrong, they're very expensive. Um, the one we're gonna be trying today, I think is about $700 for um, this specific setup. Without further ado, here we go. We got a smart car, boys. Shout out Brandon from Scooter Swap Shop for personally sending out his off his Honda Dio or his Elite, I don't remember what bike it was on, but it was on his personal bike and uh, I wanted to try one before I you know, spent the big bucks to do it and I wanted to see if it might solve a lot of the little little carb issues we're having with the F12 here. So, um, as of right now on the uh, F12, we have a CP 21 millimeter carb. Um, the CPs are what I usually use on my Zumas. On the Dio's, I usually use a D-slide carb. We actually have ourselves my own signature dumb carb because this is a China knockoff 28 millimeter PWK style carb. I really like the PWK styles. That's what I've always ran on my dirt bikes and my uh, ATVs and everything. But once I get the Zuma, I tried a CP carb and I really liked how it was on the vertical Minarelli and uh, I don't know. It's just giving me a lot of issues it seems like on this horizontal Minarelli. A lot of people say that they like the PWKs on these. So I'm very, was stuck in the middle. I ordered a PWK which I'll cut to those clips here. So I was just unboxing what I thought was going to be a good video for today. Because I ordered a new carb for the F12 and as I'm unboxing it I smell all this fuel. And I look inside there. And there is my idle screw snapped off of this used carburetor that they sent me in a package full of fuel. You could literally see fuel in the lines. You can see it. Oh, it's dripping. And the idle screw is completely just snapped right there inside the carburetor. That is ridiculous. So that was a uh, supposed to be an SWR carb that I wanted to try out because I ran an SWR PWK um, right here on my Stroker Elite. So I wanted to try one for the F12, and Brandon was like, I'll send you my smart card to try out, you should buy a smart card. Well, I was like, yeah, let me try that bad boy out before I spend the big bucks on committing to one of those. So uh, we're gonna have to pull off the panel, pull off my intake manifold, because it's set up for the small little CP style cards. So we're gonna have to, one of these I think is for stage six, but uh, they all fit the, the mouth of the smart card. So this is a 26 millimeter, I believe. This thing, uh, I gotta look up how to even tune these because there's special things to do. A little spring load thing down here. Obviously this is the idle. I'll tell you this is the AF. So I tell you we have to tune that. I don't know. Let me look more into it. We'll get it apart and we'll get started boys. Also got a little flavor just to throw on the F12 real quick. You know, get rid of this this white plastic oil cap. Hello to little party one. The way this throttle cable went into the slide was the easiest I've ever had one go because of this little design here. You just like slide this tiny spring on and you push the whole mechanism together and then it pulls the throttle cable through and then you just like push it up. But now we're throwing everything in. I think my throttle cable is going to be a little too tight so we're going to have to find a point of adjustment there. Well boys, smart carbs on there. Um, I guess there's no other thing to do other than just try to start it out. But I pulled the choke. It has fuel in it right now. So let's just... Uh, Let's just see what happens. I don't even know, I think the idle is going to be stupid high too. I kind of feel like that cable is a little too tight when I put it in. But we will find out, boys.
change the whole throttle cable around. Let's see, it starts now. still too high and I have everything adjustment wise as low as I can get it. So I had to uh, I guess you'd say lengthen the throttle cable a lot by shortening all the adjustments, maxed them out, still didn't have enough, so I went through and took off all the nuts that were like the locking nuts for the actual adjustments themselves. Um, if you will, small little adjusting nuts that are all over on your throttle cable. I had to delete all those to get the maximum length out of my throttle cable I possibly could. And boys this thing started right up when I did that. I got the slide all the way down. It's hard to tell in the dark right now, but it, when I was first trying to start it and it wasn't starting before, the throttle cable was too tight. It, I had the plastic on, so I couldn't tell. I was going off the sound of the, the let go of the throttle. It sounded like it was snapping back. It sounded like it was bottoming out, but it wasn't. So the bike was trying to start at half throttle. It was way off, would not start. Fix that, fix the throttle cable, started right up. And then just... <laughs> Happy, bro instantly oh my god I can't wait to ride this thing tomorrow it's time to try out the smart carb and I'm excited right now <laughs> this might be running a little lean though by how fast that just got hot we gotta watch the temps <laughs> It just picked that one up on its own. It's cooling down though. Dude, it's, it has a totally different sound to it. Especially because it's open filter right now because I could not fit a filter. In order to fit a filter on, I'm gonna have to cut the plastics, which sucks. Or get a small screen filter. see what the hottest temp was last time. 285 was the hottest we got last time. And I think last time we rode, yeah, last time we went, we rode, we went on a full ride with uh, Chuck and RJ on the strip and everything, so. Never even broke 300. And we were paying that a lot of times racing, too. So. I feel like if I had a little stiffer springs on the clutch, it would even snap harder. I need a uh, stiffer clutch springs for the stage six for sure. It's revving to about 11.5. There's not really a dead spot in the carb either, dude. It's it's happy. I didn't even mess with the air fuel screw at all. I just like slapped this bad boy in. See right there, I can feel, I have like, it almost feels like dead clutch springs, bro, which is crazy, because these are uh, some new clutch springs, bro. Dude, it's just floating the front end on this thing right now, bro. This thing has such a good balance point in it. See that dead takeoff, though? It's like... I feel like I can get that a little better on the takeoff. have to buy the smart carb I think. I think I'm gonna need to buy the smart carb. This is a 26 millimeter too. We were running a 21 CP on here before. Need 
needless to say, I was very impressed with the smart carb all around performance, mainly with just the, the just the snapping of the throttle, man. That's, that's just like was so in tune. I tried a bunch of jetting and everything I could with the CP21. I had a CP19, tried huge jets on that. I tried a bunch of things. I just couldn't get a real good happy medium in on this F12 as, as, as I could have. I could have tried more carbs and I could have tried more setups, but why waste the time when I can just go straight to the smart carb and see what it was all about. Highly impressed, pinned it in every way. I tried everything I could, riding the bike hard, riding it, letting it idle for a second, hopping back on it, cracking the throttle while riding. The thing was so consistent. I'm so stoked, stoked enough where I end up purchasing one. So next video, we're probably gonna do a little bit more tuning and get way more dialed in to get exactly the right setup for it. But just slapping on straight out of the box pretty much, so impressed. I really didn't touch the AF screw at all and it ran perfect but uh we'll get a plug reading and get some more tuning on it and we got a few more parts for the f12 that i'll show you in the next video as well so uh that's gonna do it for this one make sure you guys leave a thumbs up subscribe because there's a lot of videos in the making right now and i'll see you in the next one